Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. All right, well, if you don't have one of these little uh, trays of broken and broken bits and pieces, uh, it's probably a good idea to have one because inevitably I'm digging around in this thing to try to find something that's going to fit. And here we go once again. It looks like maybe we've got something there, but that's wrong angle. How about this? Too long. Um, something a bit shorter. That's too long. Ah, here we go. Uh, it's got a radius. We may end up having to go with something like this. And for me, that's just a bit. Let's see. Well, that could actually make it go right about dead center on the shaft. And we really need to be there anyhow. So let's go ahead and I'm going to recut this because I don't know who cut it, but they didn't exactly do a good job. So we're going to come back in and see if we can get a better cut. And I'm not saying it wasn't me that actually cut it because it could possibly have been. I could have been in a hurry and just went, OK, let's just sharpen the tip and forget about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and get the right angle and uh, cut this thing correctly. And really, I'm just doing this for fun because normally I just put it on the uh, on the other grinder and just grind the hell out of it and screw it. But since we're here, we're going to get ourselves a little bit of extra clearance. That looks pretty good. Okay, well, we finished it, and of course I looked up and the camera had gone off because uh, I think we ran out of uh, disk space. So uh, we got the um, the two edges rounded, although that's a bit of a sharp edge right there. So we're going to come up with the file and just kind of help it out. that anybody's going to put their hand down there, but you know, hey, let, might as well make it a nice surface. All right, so we've got our hole uh, and we are set to go, I believe. Let's just take it out and go give it a try. See how it, see how it fares. Oh, put that down. All right, let's see what we got. 
slide it up there, put it on, and it fits pretty snug. There's a little bit of a glitch somewhere. Might be in the shaft. Yeah, there's a little bit of kind of rust right there, a little corrosion. Let's uh, get some fine sandpaper and sand it down a bit. Looks like whatever this rode on rode down here and this was left exposed so it got just a little bit of corrosion on it. And of course a few little pecker marks there, but let's see if we can get around that. Ready? No, it stops right there. Don't want to go any further. All right, and I think it's stopping right there. So we're going to just kiss it with a file. just to see where the high spots are. Almost. All right, we're going to have to get some ink on this. I can see that now. And the least obtrusive kind of ink would be a little Sharpie here. Let's see if we can kind of get this thing marked and find out where our high spot is. Give that a try. Okay. Rotate it a bit. Pull it back off. 
we got just a bit of a high spot right there and look at this right there on that yeah and I can feel it right on the keyway okay so let's just see what we can do about it taking that down a little bit more Just a little bit right there. Yeah, it looks like there's a little ding mark right there. Anything else right there? That looks pretty good. Let's ink it up again. Look at that. All the way down where it belongs. Nice. Nice and snug too. Okay, so we take it off. And now we're going to reverse this and face this plate. Can you see that? Probably not. There we go. Now we're going to reverse it in the lathe and face this plate and uh, retrim the, the circumference. So let's go back to the lathe. Okay, so we're squared up this way, and this way, and this way, and uh, we came in and indicated the back side, and then also indicated the hole here, because of course this is not square. And now we want to just surface this so that we get a fairly flat uh, surface to work from. And this is stainless steel, so it's going to be a little difficult to... Uh, to turn, but uh, I don't think that bad. Let's see what we do. <clears throat> Pretty accurate. Okay, so we've got our um, our uh, <clears throat> keyway cutter in place. Uh, we built a, a keyway cutter holder like this one, except just a little bit deeper because we're cutting that backside first. And a little bit of oil on this. And maybe some back here. And let's give it a rip.
All right, let's take a measurement and see what we've got here. Well, I'm seeing that we're probably 10 thousandths loose in here. Oh, it's better right there. Maybe this got ground down or something. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Uh, so, now our size. We're sitting at 300. And what's our depth here? One ten. So just a little bit more. And that's 50. That's probably going to do the trick. Just one more shim. And that should get us where we want to go. Come on. but it shattered my my cutter and I think it's probably because of that extra wall it grabbed that wall and just couldn't get past it so that wasn't exactly a good idea but we did get the job done and that's uh, there's something to be said for that yeah, that looks pretty good All right, well, we just got to buy a new, uh, a new cutter. And that's no fun. We'll be back. Okay, so we've got our plate in, and it's kind of kicked off to the side a bit. But, you know, hey, that's okay. That's going to work. So now let's take it, and I got my pointer, and I'm going to come right down to the bottom, right at the key, and just kind of eyeball it in so that it's directly below, and come up here, and we are directly above. Take out our pointer, and we need two... Pretty good size Allen's. Allen set screws. And let's see what we've got. I'm thinking somewhere in this general area. I'm leaving. All right. I can feed the chickens for you. You have places to go and people to see. Yeah. Sounds like a plan.
I'll have my phone. And I, oh, that's what I was going to tell you. I just didn't have time to do the kitchen, so it's a mess. <gasps> the kitchen's a mess. Did you hear that, folks? The kitchen's a mess. Oh, my God. I might, I might not. All right, we're all set up to go here. Uh, we're gonna come in and we're gonna split that key. Where, what did I do with that key? We kind of want to get it on both sides of the key to give it even pressure. So the key is gonna go all the way into there. And I'm thinking we come in just a little further, something like about there. And then the second one would be about there. Sounds good. All right, let's go. And we're not putting much pressure on it because this thing's just kind of hanging out in the open air. All right, all we have to do now is come in and uh, clean up the, uh, the uh, edges of the cut. And we'll just do that while it's in place. A little bit of a rat tail file. Just come in and edge back there on the back side. That might do it. Okay, let's go try. Okay, it. here we are. We've got our piece and it looks like our key is a bit long. Which is not a big deal. Just cut that off a little bit. And it needs to be this. It's got just a little bit of gunge on it. So we're going to just kiss it, kiss it with a file. Pretty close. I think we're going to get some sandpaper and a flat surface. Well, we definitely got ourselves a flat surface. There's no question about this part. And
That's getting there. Okay. Of course, we now we got it on there, and <laughs> there it comes. That's better. It's still got a. A little bit of a mess up to it. I think it's just not totally straight. We'll come back. All right, so we've got we got the keyway to fit or the key to fit. We got the shaft to fit on the uh, or the plate to fit on the shaft. We're all set to go. Every the, everybody's pretty happy. Uh, let me get this one little burr off of here. Ouch. Well... All right, doesn't need to go with the burr. We can go that way. So we want to find a center, which would be someplace like right there, right? And there's our center line. Okay. Now what we want is, I think what we want is six legs on this. So six would be, and that burr is still in the way. Let me see if I can chisel it off. That's better. I think we can live with that. And we'll take it right on that one, one little line right there that was left by the lathe. I don't know why it was left, but it was. So we'll go one, two, Three, four, and that takes us to five. So we want a little bit more. Oops, no. One, two, three, four, five, and almost six. So just a little bit bigger. Try that. One, two, ah, three, four, five, six. We're pretty close. So we're going to make a mark. One, 
to There's five, and there is six. I mean, right almost on the money. Now, we've got our mark, so we can just go directly to center. So we got that laid out. Now what we need to do is we want to come out to, can you see that? Yeah. We want to come out to the size of the, um, of the stock pot out here with a one by, or three quarter square and then make a turn. And making that turn is going to be part of the experiment because, you know, I just haven't made a turn before. So, well, I haven't successfully made a turn before. We'll, uh, we'll pick that up in a few minutes.